Hi there, Pink's, Pink Fox here. Uh, I decided uh, to make uh, this video inspired by uh, Nani's hike channel, N-O-N-N-I-E, uh, uh, hikes, that's her channel. And um, I am not comfortable making this video, to tell you the truth because I am not comfortable uh, talking by my health issues, not because I deny uh, uh, their existence, but in the same time, uh, I don't feel that uh, always acknowledging uh, those diseases would do me any good, first of all, and second of all, um, wouldn't help my healing, as if in some of them, in some cases, uh, there is no healing. Uh, it's... Uh, Anyway, uh, to do this video, I had to, to use uh, uh, a notebook because I am unable to remember all this without uh, cheating. So, these are my uh, mechanical problems that I am having. I have the uh, nerve damage on my left arm on the uh, on the on my uh, right leg. Uh, 20 years ago, it was around 50%. Uh, I uh, refused to check it again to see how much more damage it is. How I ended up with uh, that nerve damage. Some of you that are older, they remember the nuclear disaster of Chernobyl. And uh, uh, um, we were like uh, maybe 100 miles away from it when uh, it happened. My daughter lost her hair. Uh, she regain it later on grew back and i ended up with nerve damage and um, uh, at that time when it happened uh, uh, the united states uh, soldiers uh, in germany and italy they are receiving everything including water from united states they are not allowed to touch anything uh, everything was contaminated but we Europeans, we uh, drink the water, we uh, <laughs> ate the food, contaminated, and uh, most of us survived. Probably some of them, they ended up having cancers later. Uh, I am uh, blessed. I didn't end up with a cancer. Uh, well, I I'm exaggerating. Yes, I did have uh, cancer, uh, third degree melanoma, uh, skin cancer. And it's interesting, that's an irony because I don't like sun. I don't like to uh, sunbathe or something like that. Usually all my life I avoided sun, not because uh, I, um, I was aware of skin cancer. It was because I just felt uncomfortable being in the sun. I'm a little of a vampire. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I did have melanoma uh, in the 90s, uh, but... Uh, no, I think I am okay. I think, I don't know. I didn't check it. Why should I worry about something that I don't know is there? And besides that, I lived a long life not knowing why should I know more. Anyway, uh, when I was in my 20s, uh, I am talking here about the diseases that would affect in one way or another my uh, Appalachian tra Trail uh, through hike. So uh, when I was in my 20s, uh, I got lost while I went to do my doo-doo. I went in the woods and it was a blizzard and I got lost. And uh, all night I had to walk through the blizzard. I had to put a note in my pocket in which I had uh, a glucose. Uh, I was going off an hour for glucose to get energy. And uh, I had a note that said, I put it myself there, that said, you cannot think clearly. So that gave me pause before I took any action. And I put her in the note, walk, don't stop, don't take your clothes off. Because I was tempted many times to take my clothes off. Hypothermia was setting in and I wanted to rip off my clothes. And I wanted to stop, to lay, lay down to sleep, to lay in the, s the snow to sleep. I didn't because that note kept reminding me to keep going. 
and I kept going all night. Finally, when the blizzard gave up uh, in the uh, late uh, morning hours, uh, I was rescued. I was airlifted to a hospital. They were talking, uh, amputating uh, my uh, left leg above the ankle and uh, my right one underneath my knee. And they put me on strong, unusual dosages of antibiotics. And I broke in hives. Anyway, I had good doctors who fought for my legs. And they did save them. I was for one month in the hospital and they saved me. They saved my legs, they saved my life. Unfortunately, leftovers from uh, that incident is that um, if it's 45 degrees outside and I get my feet wet, I can end up with a frostbite. Yeah, <laughs> unusual, but that's the truth. So I have to be really careful uh, uh, on that instance and uh, the bad blood uh, uh, blood circulation extends uh, to the hands so extremities are messed up oops sorry about that you know i am not editing so we go on with the flow i have also atrial fibrillation which is a heart problem atrial fibrillation or atib causes strokes. When, for example, you have a cardio and your heart start pumping really fast, you said, oh, I had a good workout. In the moment that just sitting in this in my chair, if I have an AFib attack, it is as if I did an intense cardio, just sitting on a chair. And now I need to learn to calm myself down, to calm my heart, and sometimes there is not a motivation for it. It is not stress or anything else. So I need to learn how to stop uh, an AFib attack. And now I do it with medication. Of course, it took years to learn how to calm my heart rhythm down. In, in a way, the society puts all these ads for all these kind of a medication. And in fact, once I saw an ad about AFib in which they show a man because he has AFib, he cannot walk uh, and cannot play with his grandson, which personally I think it's BS. You can, if you pay attention and listen to your body. But that kind of the of, uh, image makes a person with AFib to think, no, I cannot move from this chair because I would have a stroke. It's true, I had strokes. Yeah, the scariest one was when I was in the ER and I was paralyzed and I couldn't speak. But I was aware of everything that was going around me. When I saw the fear in the doctor's eyes, that wasn't reassuring. And I knew I am the only one who can, I can help myself if I fight. And I was trying so hard to say one word and that word was stone. Why? I don't know, but I worked hard. I was paralyzed and unable to speak maybe for two hours. They were considering to give me a medication that can cause uh, brain bleeding. But thankfully, I came out from that catatonic state before they used the medication. And I was able to say some words, not, they couldn't understand what I was saying. And, uh, but, Anyway, regardless, I don't like to talk to, uh, to, about it uh, too much because that stroke, uh, I had to go through a lot of physical therapy. 15 years ago, I couldn't work 100 yards. Scrambled my brain pretty badly. And I thankfully, I love mathematics. So I went back on my math books and uh, 
I did a lot of college algebra, calculus, and struggling every single day until uh, my brain came to a little bit better, a little bit better in uh, functioning. Also, part of uh, part of I'm sorry. Uh, also, I have problems pronouncing certain letters. And I am not working on my speech. I am too busy to work on my speech. I have this accent. Unfortunately, I cannot blame it on the stroke. Oh, man. Uh, and uh, the speech is... Uh, I am too busy to work on it. <laughs> And unfortunately, uh, also uh, what I do in the middle of the sentence, I am thinking about uh, uh, something else and I stop a sentence unfinished and start another sentence. Uh, but I take comfort on it because I remember once I read uh, Albert, Alberto Moravia saying that there are two kinds of people that are distracting. Uh, people's, uh, uh, people that uh, have too many thoughts in their mind, too many interests, and uh, the, th the thoughts are scrambling and the words are coming out scrambled somehow and they are distracted while there are other people that uh, they, they don't have any thoughts in their minds and therefore they sound lost. So I like to get the comfort that I am in the first part of the... Um, uh, uh, cat, uh, first uh, category. In for, uh, also, another side effect of the stroke, I still do not have feeling on uh, half part of uh, my right foot. And in fact, in a hike, I had uh, a really big blister, over one inch blister, and I didn't realize I had it uh, until I took a shower and uh, it was broken already and never uh, felt anything. Uh, in a way, it's good for not feeling pain, but in the same time can be dangerous if I don't discover a blister that can get uh, badly infected. Now, um, I have uh, the beginning of uh, osteoporosis, who doesn't at this age? Beginning of COPD, uh, I have also degenerative arthritis, which uh, kind of had eaten uh, uh, two vertebrae on my neck and uh, four of them on my uh, lower back. And for years I went and I had uh, steroid epidurals uh, on my back to manage uh, the pain, pains, uh, until one day I decided, no, enough is enough. I have to learn to deal with the pain. I have vertigo. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Loving to go in the mountains and having vertigo. I never can explain why it comes or how, uh, what causes it. So usually when the vertigo starts, I have to stop, don't move an inch because that can cause an accident. Okay. Oh, I have gout. I am blind, as I said before, if you watch my videos. Uh, not totally blind, but you know, some blindness. I have stomach problems. What else I have? I have gout. Oh, and the worst of all, I am snoring. Not every night, but pretty often. And sometimes I am talking in my sleep. So, if you are lucky and hear uh, what I think, you will hear me talking in my sleep. But I speak in English when I'm talking in my sleep, so you would understand everything what's in my mind. And uh, as a sleeping disorder, not always, but sometimes I'm sleepwalking. And you think, oh my God, that's dangerous in the mountains. No, it's not dangerous. In fact, I am safer in my sleepwalking than I am uh, when I am awake. Uh, because uh, when I am awake, I can be distracted on uh, something else. Uh, once I was... Uh, uh, I was uh, pulled out uh, by the fire department from uh, a scaffolding uh, in a uh, uh, scaffolding in a big building, and 
when they wake when I woke up I was I was in the arms of a uh, fireman and I was so pissed off they woke me up <laughs> I was fine uh, once I went to a neighbor at three o'clock in the uh, morning I ring the doorbell I pushed her out of my way and went on her couch to continue sleeping so yes I do sleepwalk not always only sometimes it happens well you know what I forgot? I forgot. I forgot. I, 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 I should have started this speech with a joke to make it easier for me. Well, but I'm going to tell the joke to the end. I have to be different, right? I can be like everybody else. So, in fact, it's a semi-joke. More an anecdote than a joke. So, an eight-year-old man goes to the doctor. And asked the doctor, what can I do to live to be over 100 years old? The doctor asked him, do you eat right? Oh, yes, I am a vegetarian. And always I make sure I have uh, my proteins, my uh, everything, my vitamins, everything I need. Do you drink? No. Do you smoke? Do drugs? No, no. Do you like to party with women? Oh, no. The doctor looks at him and asks him, why do you want to live to be a hundred? So that's how I feel myself about my Appalachian hike. Why should I? I abuse my body pretty badly to have so many problems. <laughs> but why should I live to be a hundred and not to enjoy my life? All worried about adding years to my life. And it was a saying that I prefer to die as an eagle flying free in the sky than to dry like a chicken in a coop. Anyway, it's you have to consider that when I decided to do this, I went and saw my doctor. And I talked about my doctor and we talked about all the problems and uh, she took the time to go over everything with me. And she told me, yes, you can make it to Katadin. You can make it because you taught your brain to control your body and because you are stubborn. I don't know. Probably she is right. I don't know. But it's uh, very reassuring. So if you have medical problems, Oh, forget about the doctor. Don't do it. Check with the doctor first and take the doctor's advice how to control different attacks and so on and so forth. Okay, that's about it from now. Oh, and also, I think uh, God has a hand on this, keeping me alive uh, after I went through everything, plus all other th uh, things that I went through life. Uh, almost buried in a earthquake. I have a scar to prove it. Uh, going uh, through a revolution, I have even there a scar from a bullet. And uh, I went, uh, and you know what? For an American with shelter life, come on, give me a break. Uh, one person goes through so much. Guess what? All over the world, people are going through a lot worse than I went. And we are still alive, and we are still going on with our lives. I really appreciate you subscribing, and I really appreciate you watching my videos. Oh, and don't forget, she is an amazing woman. Check her channel, Nani Hikes, N-O-N-N-I-E Hikes. Thank you, and please subscribe. Bye.